I would say that if I had a specialty, it would be leash reactivity. You have to realize that almost every time a dog has external problems, it's, it's because of the lack of foundation. Mm -hmm. The point of an inside turn is to gain total control. So we got him about two years ago. We've been to two different trainers. The first one we tried, she did really good with him at first and everything, and it was just kind of basic obedience, really focused on like AKC good citizen, which was not his strong suit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think we started with him about when he was about four months when we started training, and we pretty much put him in a prong collar from then because he was just pulling so hard on the leash, I had no control over him. Okay. And even at that point is when we really started to notice how reactive he was, especially on leash to other dogs. I, I couldn't even get most of the training done in the class because it was hard for me to control him sometimes when he saw the other dogs. I would say that if I had a specialty, it would be leash reactivity. Mm -hmm. Out of all the things that I work on with people, it would be leash reactivity. So I've kind of created a couple different things that really help dismantle and de-escalate de the leash reactivity. Yeah. And a lot of times dogs will build well before they react. They're yeah. not just calmly laying down and then all of a sudden they go zero to a hundred. It's usually an accumulation. Yeah. Like, so even like this, like an accumulation of, of something's percolating here, like something's building mm -hmm. and then he goes off and does something and then it decreases. So think about uh, leash reactivity kind of like a simmering pot. And the goal is, is to get the dog's attention away from the other dog, right? Uh, which would be like the flame, I'm trying to remove them from that so they don't boil over. Mm -hmm. You're not trying to avoid completely because that won't help you. Right. Um, although if you didn't have any other options and you didn't have obedience, that would be the safest option. It just wouldn't help you get over it. So even right now, like draw back and call him to you. Maverick. Good. Oh boy. Yes, good. The longer you can keep him engaged with you, the better. Again, like you would come back like this. Yes, good. Come. Yes, good. And then you can heal forward. I'm giving you exercises that when we do get other dogs involved into their training, you have an advantage and you have an opportunity to create that engagement with him instead of just, we don't want to be one way or the other. We don't want to just correct it and say, hey, don't do that. And we also don't want to say like, hey, come over here. Look, I got to look, 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 like we're doing this big show. It's really kind of a blend of that of like, hey, man, let's work together. Pay attention. Come on. So I want you to just get your food out. Now draw back and call. He's let's go. Yeah, he's going to be on you, but that's OK. Good go pay. Good. Stop. Good. And then draw back again. All right. Let's go. And then pay. Good boy. Good. What I typically do, especially for dogs like this, is I'll take this piece of food and it'll last me like 25 minutes. So hold this food. When he comes to you, you give him a little bit of nibble. It's going to frustrate him. Come. He's like, yeah, I want the rest of that. Boom. And then everything else around you slowly just pops away because you're giving them that engagement mm -hmm. and he's locked in on you. What I would do is like when you're handling him, pay him neutral because then he's thinking. But if you're paying and you're like here the whole time, he's kind of locked in, which isn't a bad thing to do. It's called a contact food lure. It's not a bad thing to do, but if you can be like pay and then neutralize it, he's like, oh, when is it going to happen again? When is it going to, boom, he gets it again. And that will, again, keep him hyper-focused on what you're doing. There's going to be some environments where it's not going to be realistic or fair for you guys to be able to say, hey, don't worry about that. Yeah. So you have to create an inside job because there's going to be two or three people out with, you know, their dogs all over the place barking at you guys. There's going to be a lot going on. And so your job is to be like, hey, this is what we're gonna do together. And everything else just disappears. Now I wanna try some inside turns. So inside turn, just practicing. Good. When you're turning with your left leg, you're hitting him in his, like, in his side. You really want uh, this leg to be almost in front of him. Okay. So when you're going this way, even if you have to use a little back pressure, you wanna cut him off. Here's why. Mm -hmm. When you're going this way and say you're the distraction, when he has his head like right here and then you're turning right here and you're kind of hitting his ribs, if he wanted to react, he's got all this leverage to do that. Yeah. The point of an inside turn is to gain total control. You're out with a dog like this and then you just immediately cut and you're right back this way. Okay. Better. There we go. This time I would just add a little bit of back pressure. Okay to keep him in the right position. Good. There. So I want you to do outside turns now, okay. which is gonna be harder under this context because you're gonna be coming out this way and then he's probably gonna drift off. Okay. Better. But he's still getting to the end of the leaf. I don't want him to get to the end of the leaf. Let him out a little bit more. Now turn. Heel with me. Heel. Better. We're gonna keep doing this until we get closer. 
Good. Now again. Me? Yep. Pay him for that. Pay Good him for that. Good boy. Good. So do you understand what we're doing is when we're when we're working with dogs in particular, the le the less pressure the better. If we don't have to give the dog pressure after the development stages, we've done our job. Yeah. Just like cor any correction, right? If we're going off the road and we're like not learning, like hey. Maybe we shouldn't be driving over here. We shouldn't be driving, right? Or if you're using the bumpers when you're bowling for many years, maybe, <laughs> maybe bowling's not for you. Like you said, it's not like a super realistic environment in here. So like, I mean, as soon as we put another dog in front of him, I know it's gonna be mm -hmm. completely different. Same? And, yeah. But again, like my job is to give you the, the foundation to know what to do. Mm -hmm. That's my job. So once you're, once you can walk your dog, mm -hmm. I'll start with distractions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's, that's one thing, you know, when we're dealing with behavioral training is it's not just like, all right, let's turn, all right, you want me to turn that jumping? Okay, barking, what else you want me to turn off while I'm right. here? It's not like that. <laughs> you have to realize that almost every time a dog has external problems, it's, it's because of the lack of foundation. Mm -hmm. My dog pulls because they don't know heal. My dog won't come back because they don't know recall. My dog doesn't have any boundaries, so we do what we want, mm -hmm. right? There's nothing that's, some dogs are sensitive. We can say, hey, no, and they're like, oh, and then other dogs, you're like, no, wham. And they're like, is that all you got? Yeah. I'm coming back for more. <laughs> so like, that's why the versatility needs to be there with him is, um, I understand what you're saying, but I wanna make sure that we can walk him first before we get these distractions out. Yeah. My recommendation is apply all of the basics that we just worked on in order mm -hmm. for you to like tighten things up. Okay, let's go, let's go. Good. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Just work on what we just did over here. So let, let him out and then come. Same thing. And then. Okay, so out and then in. Out. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Better again. Better. Yes. Good. Better. So work on your inside turns. Okay. Heal him out. Let's go. It's just harder for you because there's stress. This is the stress test. Yeah, walk, is... walk, 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 Let's walk, go. walk, walk, Let's walk. Go. Let's go. Leave it. Leave it. Good. Oh, wait till a dog comes in. I'm like, well, you got to be able Leave to it. use the things we just Leave worked it. on. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good. There you go. You're getting there. Yeah. Inside turn. Don't let him in front of you. See? Good. Yeah. Heel. Pay him. Oh, Good. De-escalation. Good. Good. Now walk forward again. Okay. Good. Draw back and recall. Never come. Let's go. See, and keep doing this, keep doing this. Draw back and, yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, no, do, yeah, do, just, I'm just giving you different things. <laughs> yeah. But this is like what we're trying to do here okay. is just have, have the ability to work through these things with obedience. So mm -hmm. come work this way. Okay. Let's go. Yes, yes good. good boy. Boom. Now back this way immediately. Good yep. Boy. Good. Let's go. Inside okay. turn. There you go. Slow down and stop. Let's say this is like a gray area of reality, right? So it's not super realistic, but it's pretty realistic. Like he reacted as he would. Just remember in the beginning, he may, you know, completely lose it. And then you have to dismantle that. But sometimes some dogs are just, they just, they just go yeah. zero to a hundred, ping, like that. Um, and then that's where we can talk about other things to help deescalate. Um, and then you basically just like, like a, Carpenter, you'd really just like do something really quick, switch tools and go right back to it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that works really nicely. I want you to work with him a little bit, but do you okay. see how I'm like really focused on us? Yeah. Like I'm really like making it an inside job where I'm just using that food. Yeah, God. And I'm just drawing back and I'm like, hey man, come on, God. And this is avoidance, but it's warranted. If you're like, hey man, my dog's a little out of control. I'm just gonna pin him back and pay him a little bit. It's so much easier maybe for you. Mm -hmm. Nice boy. Me? Yes. Good. Good boy. Good. Yes. Yes. Maverick. Yep. 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 Uh -uh. Yep. 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 Uh -uh. That's good. Leave it. All that air sensing is good. Maverick. Good. <laughs> nice. Good. good. Nice. Good. And then um, you're gonna do the good. same thing this way. Just kind of pay the dog. Let's go. Leave it. Good decision, good boy. buddy. Good. So I'll take that. Why don't you just go in this little grass area over here? Okay. And then. Just work on a, just work on the same stuff. Inside, outside, recalls. 
Let's go. Draw back. Maverick. Come. Yes. yes. Good, boy. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Go. Good. Inside turn. Cut him off. Don't let him get there. See, and then that's the healing. Like, that's just the basic stuff. Like, yeah. he's forging forward. And that's where things will unravel, but it's okay. okay. Like, we're looking at the bigger picture here. So yep. just keep moving. Let's go. Good. Uh -uh. Good. Yep. Yep. Inside turn. Let's go. Yep. Good. Yes. Good. Good boy. Yes, he's smelling. Yeah. Good. Good boy. Nice Good. work. Inside turn. Let's go. Good. Good Stop. boy. Good. Draw back and recall. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Yes, Maverick. Good, Good boy. Good, Good job. And then give him a little free. All right, free. Nice work. Good really job. well done. Really good. Yeah. That's awesome. You yeah. didn't even like pay attention to her. Yeah, that was great. That was, like awesome. Really good. Actually getting that engagement for once felt really good. <laughs> that was great. All right, you guys, we just wrapped up the No Bad Dogs Tour 2022. I just want to thank every single person who came out to the seminars, to the meet and greets, to the working spots. We appreciate it a lot. We've been working really, really hard. I want to thank my team for working just as hard as I do out here. It was a lot of fun. It was very safe. I want to thank our bus driver, Jimmy, right here, for keeping us all safe. Jimmy, wave for the camera. Hi. Best bus driver this side of the Mississippi. But anyway, took a team, took an army. Thank you guys so much. Thanks to my assistant, Elena, for helping me connect the dots. We've been working hard at this since June. We started in London. We just finished in KC. Thank you guys again. We can't wait to do it again next year. I appreciate you guys so much. Banks had fun. We got to travel the country with my friends and family. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you.